What's up, Internet? Welcome back. This is Linzer22. Today, I wanted to do a hypothetical because I like hypotheticals and hypotheticals are fun. And that is, what if the Atari VCS ends up becoming a success? Like, what if the name Atari actually does have the ability to sell an expensive console on its own? But let me just tell you, this is a forum discussion video. So before I start, leave your comments about the topic down below. And after the discussion, continue the conversations down below. And remember to subscribe for more content. So imagine this, the Atari VCS is about to be released. Many people are lining up and it's announced that the Atari VCS is a huge success. So crazy that it is even giving the Wii for the run of its money. Now, let me just insert this real quick. I don't think this is gonna happen, but let's play a fun hypothetical. Now let's look at the market. What is going on? Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo are starting to look closely into this. And they're starting to scratch their head. How in the world is this a success? Now the first thing that I think is would happen if something like this were to happen, where a fourth entry comes into the market, is that many other video game companies, or you know what, not even just video game companies, many other companies are going to start looking at it going, you know what, maybe anyone could enter this market. If some company as shady as the current Atari could come in and release some random console, and without good reason, honestly, then maybe we can. So I wouldn't be surprised if like a bunch of other random companies started releasing their own consoles and thinking that they have a foot in the market. The first company that, I, that would come to mind, honestly, would be Amazon. I think Amazon would see that and go, Yep, it's time. We're going to release a console and we're going to buy up a bunch of studios and we're going to get this going. And what would probably happen is you'll see a flood in the market all at once. Why? Because it's actually good money to release a console. It's hard. It's not easy. I don't want to say like you won't lose money. But, you know, if you have your own walled garden, if you have your own shop, basically, yeah, that can be good money if you run it successfully. So I think I think a lot of companies would want to be in that game. Now, would this benefit consumers? Well, that depends. You see, if you look at at the current state of desktop smart boxes for your televisions, you know, like Android TV and all that, that's kind of a convoluted market. And most of the time when people go buy their their TVs, they just don't know what to do. And only a few years ago, it was a, it was completely terrible. That that market was had too much crappy things in the market and then many of the tv started to come out with the smart stuff baked in you'll see you'll see roku tv baked in you'll see um samsung smart tv and you'll see i think you'll see some android tv built on the tvs but i'm not exactly sure i do know that amazon does have their set built into some TVs already. So yeah, if Atari does succeed with this, I expect the market to just explode with a lot of terrible devices, kind of similar to the Raspberry Pi, but without the fun idea of it being open source. This is going to be a bunch of consoles that can play like five games. It's going to be terrible. Now that being said, if Atari doesn't explode and if it just kind of has a moderate success, that's four consoles competing. And if if you count the Google Stadia thing, then that's technically five, but that's not really a console, so I don't know if I should count it. But the console race has never fared well with more than three consoles, and the third console is always in a dramatic last place. So I don't see that actually happening. I think the only way the Atari could actually be anywhere near or anywhere in the market, it would have to take out one of the competitors, which it's not going to do. Instead, they're only good bet is to kind of market it as something else and if so if they are a success and other co companies try to emulate it they'll probably try to emulate the atari so it would be kind of a big competition in its own little area so i don't think that would actually truly affect the current state of video games it would just kind of be like this little war going off in the side and those weird people that bought the atari vcs which i still have no idea who it would be they're the ones kind of suffering with all this convoluted consoles. What would this genre even be? It's it like, it's not micro, it's not like mini consoles or retro consoles. They're kind of like computer consoles. Is that going to be a thing? Do people want computer consoles in, in like a year from now? Are we going to be seeing like five different companies coming out with a computer console? You know what, that's starting to kind of sound like the set-top box scenario I said earlier. So, in a way, is Atari VCS competing with Roku TV? Is it competing with Android TV? 
Once again, this just brings up the idea that Atari has no idea what it's doing and they have no idea what kind of product they have on their hands. If Atari can somehow figure out what they have, what it can do, and how they should market it, maybe they'll have something. But then again, if they have a console, then they'll have to compete with the big consoles, and that's not going to work. So they made their console compete with a bunch of set-top boxes, but nobody wants a set-top box because they're already built into their TV. So then they have a computer? Well, everyone already has a computer. So they have a Raspberry Pi that they can experiment with with sandbox mode? Well, if you want a Raspberry Pi, get a Raspberry Pi. They're only like, what, like $40 with all the stuff? $50 if you get all the stuff? I'm not exactly sure. So I guess long story short, if they are a success, a bunch of companies will try to emulate them, but I think they'll be scratching their heads trying to figure out what their product is. They'll be trying to figuring out why this was a success and Atari can only use their name for so long. So even if it is a success because of their name, how long can they make that last? How long can they stretch that out for? Well, anyways, what do you guys think? Do you guys have a hypothetical very much different from mine? I'd like to hear it. Even if you guys think it's going to be a, a, a flop, which I think it's, it's not going to be a success either, but I'd like to, to you know, talk about these things. So even if you think it's going to be a flop, let me know what your hypothetical of it being successful, like how that would affect the market, because that would be interesting. That's an interesting conversation there. And if you hope that it doesn't be a success because you fear of the the dangers it would have to the market then leave that as a comment as well and before i go let me just remind you guys that if you liked this discussion video go ahead and subscribe and i'll be back with more